When mommy says no, we say yes. I'm gonna push you, mom. I'm not gonna do it fast, it's not gonna hurt, but I'm doing it gently. Take this money, go to Twin River, get some chips. You're good to go, granny. Housing, education, healthcare, everything else that you actually need, all that is gone up through the roof. You wanna go to the bathroom or get a cookie? You have to sign this. Start to regulate a little bit, show mommy who's boss. I'm taking from my mom. Yeah. And giving to the needy this channel. Mom and dad, I love you guys so much. That's why for the twilight years of your life, you're going to be roommates with these uh, drill rappers. <laughs> Hi, Sam. What advice do you have for Gen Z 25 year old who has boomer parents, 75 years old? They are very abusive and narcissistic, but dementiated. I want to leave, but to destroy any chances of money. They're rich. What do I do? Get the paperwork out. Get some paperwork. Literally probably talk to a lawyer. If they're actually abusive, I don't know if that's just you being sensitive or whatever the situation is, but if it's actually, talk to a, talk to a lawyer and, yeah. you know. See how you can get them declared medically insane. Yeah. This guy's COVID rattled his brain. He can't think straight anymore. He's got to give me a power of attorney. Hey, Dad, <laughs> sign this form. It's for the TV. The TV? Uh, Dad, sign this, sign this paperwork. It's, it's for Tucker Carlson, Fox News. He wants your signature, Pop. Tucker? Tucker wants to talk? Tucker wants me? <laughs> so how do you get an old guy to stop drinking? My my, in, my instinct would be to whip him in the face with a belt buckle. Do it in a funny way where he doesn't feel like he's getting, he, where he doesn't feel like he's getting his ass beat. Yeah. It's just like, hey dad, how you doing? Yeah. Hey yeah, dad. Just give him a big old smack upside the back of the head when you say hi. Just start getting physically rough with him. I think that's funny. And try to and try to make it funny, like make it into a make, see how funny you can make it. Make him Shoot tap him out. Like yeah, <laughs> make, him, low like trash make him tap man. out. And then when he realizes it's a it's a problem, then you can probably go down the road to healing that, or not. Just keep beating him until he dies. <laughs> Explain the power of attorney thing to me for my old abusive parents. Real abuse, not this weak lefty stuff. What evidence do I need to gather, and how would power of attorney benefit me? Just go to a, go talk to a lawyer if that. It's real. Go talk to a lawyer right now. And just go go around to your town. You don't just talk to one lawyer. You go around town, explain the situation. Don't ex don't explain it like it's the end of the world and you need help. Explain it like you're like and it's an interesting situation. Yeah. Like, hey Jet, there was a guy outside and he was trying to f the dumpster. And I kicked him in the head. And I was laughing my ass. Off. Don't 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 go, oh please, you gotta help me. Just explain it, you know, however. Get them to pitch you their services. That's what that's what that is. It's not you're not begging him for help. You're you're going to some guy and saying, "Hey, how can I? What do you want to? What are you going to do for me for the three hundred and fifty an hour or whatever you bill?" Talk to uh, five different local people. Pick the one that seems the least sh and has good Google reviews. Explain the situation to them. They'll tell you what to do. It probably involves recording everything with your cell phone and uh, being a sneaky little uh, freak. Uh, how much money should someone be making per year or have in the bank at age 30 to 35 to be considered financially successful? The thing, the thing is the goalposts have moved so much. Like it used to be the case when I was in college, the, the, if you were rich, you would have a million dollars and you would buy like whatever bonds, like the safest investment, the safest investment vehicle, and that would make you 50,000 a year and you'd live off that, like that's wow. your retirement plan. <clears throat> That's what, in 2003, I specifically remember having a conversation with Nick about this. And one of the things that we said was like, what would you do if you had a million dollars? And he was like, I would buy this bond. I would take the 50,000 a year for the rest of my life. And I would, that would be my retirement. Yeah. And that's what people did. <clears throat> and now to get 50,000 a year, you need $10 million. And uh, <clears throat> the price, like the price of everything we're kind of like mystified because the price of like your Netflix, your phone applications, like all the, sh all the stupid little that you pay for, that like poor people pay for. Poor people go out and buy bags of chips. Poor people order delivery pizza. Poor people have every app on yeah. their phone that's paid. You know, they have to have it. They, I have to have Hulu, I need this. And the, pr the price of those usually doesn't go up. Sometimes it does, but it usually doesn't go up or it goes down. And they're like, oh, it's still cheap to get a deep dish pizza. I could still afford a deep dish pizza and watch my Disney movies tonight. I guess it's, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. Meanwhile, the price of like housing, education, healthcare, healthcare, everything else that you actually need to like be like a, like a solidified human and be safe, all that has gone up through the roof. Yeah. So 30 to 35, it sounds kind of crazy, but you should have a million dollars. And that's too much, and you probably don't have it in a lot, and most people don't have that. 
And that just means that like the money system is like broken. Yeah. It's not your, it's not necessarily your fault, but you got to start. <clears throat> everybody has to start. And it's not a greed thing. People are all, people always have like a negative comment to say about me. Like they think it's, I'm, they think I'm encouraging greed. Like the Lamborghini rental, the rented Lamborghini that I trashed. <laughs> That was a joke, obviously. Okay, don't go buy a Lamborghini. But you have to start accumulating wealth so that you're safe, so that later in life you can like protect your family. You can have like some sort of solidity and certainty about your future. So you got to start acquiring wealth. It's like it's critically important. The old folks are exiting the workforce. They're running their own little mini fortunes into the ground with health care for their diabetes, their f Corvette payments. The money is starting to trickle down into. Millennials and it'll trickle down to zoomers. Don't you worry. I recently inherited 1.8 million from my doctor grandpa any advice on investments chill Hold on to the hold on to the money for a year or more until you figure out how money works a lot of investments fail How do I convince my grandmother with at least one rug in every room to give me her house instead of selling it and Splitting the money with her deadbeat children all except my mom start paying her money a month Come up with a number amount that grandma will walk away so she can go play casino. Yeah, shut her up yeah, stick a- Go to Twin River. Take this money, go to Twin River, get some chips. Nice. You're good to go, Granny. I got the perfect <laughs> system, roulette style. So if she plays roulette, then yeah. bring me along, I guarantee bring... she'll triple. Yeah, does. so just bring Chuck, and then we can win the casino, and then be like, hell, something. You go to the casino with Chuck, you win the 380 grand for Grandma's house. Strictly roulette. And then, bam, you you walk out of there. So, yeah, just keep mom. We'll just come up with a number to get her ass out of the house. That's all, right? We give her t two grand a month. That's 24 grand a year. We'll get her out of the house, because those deadbeat in-laws can't be like what you're gonna give her the three grand go to the deadbeats and get nose to nose with them and be like you were gonna give nana the three grand a month you had three grand to give her a month because i do and then you give her thirty six thousand a month for three years until she dies or until she dies but you gotta put pine salt on her oatmeal mm -hmm. <laughs> fred hyde 88 with the 50. Mm. hey daddy's home portion money bring it in come on he says i'm tucker carlson's top guy yeah you are yeah you are sign guy. the papers <laughs> Sign, Dad, you got to sign these papers. Tucker Carlson wants, says it's for the future of America. This is for the future of America fund. You could literally do what they did in the office or like have the top part, piece of paper be a separate piece of paper that's on top. Yeah. And just call it future of America contract. Yeah. At the bottom, it's just power of attorney. Sign over to your son. I blank yeah. agree to abolish the <sighs> woke left. Yeah. Dad, do you want to abolish the woke left? <laughs> I know we haven't been getting along. I know you've been threatening to take away my inheritance and spend it on health care for yourself, which, quite frankly, is a huge waste of resources. Um, but we, I want to, you know, you've been watching a lot of Fox News, and I think it's time to take out the woke left once and for all. Sign the papers. Hey, Mom, I know you've been watching a lot of um, LGBTQ stuff, and you've been crying, weeping into your pillow a lot, and um, you adopted another cat. You've been eating snack wells. You hide the cookie box under the couch. I know you've been getting, you've been crying a lot so that your vision, your vision's not that good. So you can't really see this contract that well, but this is for um, the, the rights of the underprivileged. Sign it, sign it. You have to hurry or they're going to keep, they're going to, something bad's going to happen. Every second you don't sign this, Trump kills another uh, innocent <laughs> victim. Sign it right here. Come on, come on, mom. Mom, I'm gonna push your shoulders down. I'm gonna push you onto the floor. I'm gonna push you, Mom. I'm not gonna do it fast. It's not gonna hurt, but I'm doing it gently. I'm pushing you onto the floor. I'm crushing you down onto the floor. Mom, sign this. If you wanna get up, you have to sign it. If you wanna to go to the bathroom or get a cookie, you have to sign this. What are you talking about? I never did that. I don't remember that. She's got dementia. Will you? St this line of questioning, quite frankly, is embarrassing. She's got dementia, obviously. You're, you're tearing my family apart. Bring the, let them come to the, come into this home. That would work. Where's the, or, where's the orderly? Who is that? Uh, those black guys over there, Tyree and, and Biggums. They look like they, they look, they look like they got a mean pimp slap. Yeah. Anyway, mom, enjoy your time here. Make sure you don't mouth off to these, uh, 20 year old drill rappers. <laughs> We'll be taking care of you. Mom and dad, I love you guys so much. That's why for the last, for the twilight years of your life, you're going to be rooming, roommates with these uh, drill rappers. <laughs> <clears throat> and I would suggest you don't struggle when they're trying to dress you because they don't like that.
I'll push my mom down the stairs because she won't give me any more money to donate. Sorry, this is all I can yeah. give. That's a that's a no no. When mommy says no, we say yes, and then we do something about it. Don't let your mom dictate how much or how little you give. All right. When I give to a charity, I'm not asking my mom. I'm taking from my mom. Yeah. And giving to the needy this channel. People should view this as a charity. Yeah. I view it as a charity. I'm giving away so much of my time to you people for nearly nothing. Um, punch holes in mommy's wall. Her life is too easy. Yeah, some of, some of you guys, you're too easy on your mommies. I think you need to start to regulate a little bit. Show mommy who's boss. All right, step one, credit card. Mm -hmm. Whip it out. Make a few super chats here and there, show her who's boss. Yeah. Okay? Step two, you guys are just being too nice to your mommies. We gotta start laying down the law, laying the smack down, all right?